Kareem Ali here from the Nick Fundited's team. And today, Nick and I are taking you on a tour of Sandy Hill. Sandy Hill is one of Ottawa's core neighborhoods. It is bound by the Rideau River on the east side, by the canal in the west, and the Byward Market and Lower Town to the north. You can find a little bit of everything here, from the glass towers at 20 Daly and the Rideau Centre, all the way to 100-year-old homes and embassies along Range Road, to student housing from the University of Ottawa. Compared to everywhere in Ottawa, this may be one of Ottawa's most diverse neighbourhoods. The people who live in Sandy Hill are a mix of longtime residents, students at the University of Ottawa, families and professionals who walk and bike to downtown. If you're looking for something to do at any time of the year, this is a great place to be. You can skate on the Rideau Canal, walk to the Byward Market, play Frisbee in Strathcona Park, or enroll at the Cordon Bleu Academy to master haute cuisine. The streets here are quiet enough to ride your bike or go for a jog and easily get around to all that Ottawa's core has to offer. If you want to go further out, there are three LRT stations close by at Lee's, U Ottawa and the Rideau Centre. There are many families in Sandy Hill and if you have kids, they can enroll in any one of Ottawa's school systems. There are some great schools in Sandy Hill, like Franco Jeunesse Public School in Oscott, and for others, you might need to go to Centre Town or a nearby Lower Town, like I did to the La Salle High School. If your children are young, there are excellent daycare options, like the Betty Hyde Centre on Blackburn, and a variety of French and English playgroups and drop-in activities. One of the things that I really love about Sandy Hill is that it is pretty. All the houses look a little different from each other. There's the canal and museums like Laurier House, and there are fantastic parks. Strathcona Park along the Rideau is one of Ottawa's prettiest parks and the best part is that people actually use it. On any given day in the spring or summer, you'll see students studying and sunbathing or playing frisbee. People walk their dogs here, they take their strollers or they jog along the river and there's a playground, wading pool and even tiny ruins for your kids to explore. You can't talk about Sandy Hill without mentioning the University of Ottawa. It forms a large part of the neighborhood, and if you move here, you'll become familiar with the sights and sounds of student life, especially on the western streets. The University of Ottawa is the world's largest bilingual university and one of Canada's top research universities. The Telfer School of Management at the University of Ottawa is in the top 1% of business schools worldwide. Being so close to downtown and having such a dense population means that there are plenty of places to eat, which is always a big plus in my books. It's easy to get to the great choices in the Byward Market or Elgin Street from here, but there are plenty of delicious options right in Sandy Hill itself. There's the Schlag, the Sandy Hill Lounge and Grill on Laurier for some creative pub food. There's Shawarma Palace, which I think is the best of all the shawarma places in Ottawa. You can go to Signature for fine French cuisine and Father and Sons for a burger or filling breakfast. There's also a branch of the Happy Goat to give you an alternative to the big coffee chains with too many other options to contain in just this video. Whether you're a student, an ambassador, or something in between, Sandy Hill has something for you to love and it's just around one of its corners. If you like this video and want to find out more about this neighborhood or our other videos, you can check us out on social or at nickfunditis.ca.